Vision. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. We got a good time in Argentina and then rested with uh, the family. So really good. How hard is that though? I mean, obviously you want to play all the way to the cup, but now this year, if you guys make the cup, it's going to be middle of November. That's got to be a big benefit. Yeah, it's a better system. And I think for me personally, it's a better system. Will give us more time to rest, and obviously, for me, the games will be more attractive because most of the players will be with more energy. Do you think that having the short off season will at all impact you guys as a team this year? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. If we, if we uh, prepare a good preseason, taking uh, knowing that we didn't have a, a long off season. I think it will be okay, and uh, every season is exciting and it's new, and you renew energy. So, I don't think so. In terms of the 12 games on the road to start the season, what are you guys going to have to do to to make sure you can manage that? Uh, thinking one at a time, and then, as I say, in, in the preseason, have a, a clear understanding of what we want into the field, and then uh, using the friendlies we have to. To, uh, to work on that. And, and then uh, having the experience from last year, uh, being very focused in, in, in every game, one, one, step, at a, one, one step, step by step. Last year you guys kind of started a little slow on the road, but do you think that the fact that you've been with Gio for a year now, you guys are coming off a really good end of the season where you guys came together, have a lot of the same players, is that gonna help you um, navigate this 12 games on the road a little bit better? I think so, yeah. I think it will help a lot because we already know how she works, how, what, what he wants. We all have a, a better understanding of it, more time of working, so I think uh, that will help. And, uh, and then, as I say, uh, trying to adapt the new guys, trying to make a stronger team than, than last season and, and being very focused on the first games because uh, that point will be very important at the end of the season. And now that you guys know Gio and have worked with him um, for a year, uh, how does that change things going into this season? Uh, it, it changed that you already know how trainings goes and, and how what, what he wants in the trainings, in the, to see in the team, right? And obviously it's, it's about the time, how many games we are we're playing and how many trainings we, we got already with him. And uh, from that concept that he, he really wants to see in the team, it's easier. Diego, how would you compare the first training session of this preseason with the first training session last year? Uh, it was it was very different because it was in Tucson and uh, uh, probably as I said before because we already know Shio and how he works in trainings. Uh, I think this one was more enjoyable. We enjoyed it a little bit better and because it was in Portland, uh, I think uh, we all enjoyed it much better. How do you feel with the short time off? Do you feel like you're in better shape for that first training session? Or physically with less time, is it different starting up? That's a good question. I mean, you, you feel uh, probably <clears throat> better because it wasn't a long off season and uh, you, you feel like uh, we ended a couple weeks ago. So uh, yeah, it wasn't a lot of time to rest, but uh, yeah, as you say, we, we feel better because it wasn't a, a long off season. You guys uh, lost somebody who had been a, a pretty big leader for you guys in the off season in Liam Ridgewell. Um, lo losing a guy that's vocal and, and veteran leader like that, how what does that mean for other guys like you that are a veteran leader, a captain now, um, in, in terms of uh, you know taking on that leadership role even more? No, it's the same. We we all here know how how our careers uh, are. And uh, we know that that could happen any time because we are used to. And uh, Liam was here a lot of time. It was important for us. And uh, as I said before, we, we had to look forward. And uh, the new guys coming, trying them to adapt as quick as, as possible. And, uh, and that's it. And, you know, as the players, we have been in, in a lot of clubs and, and that, that happened to everybody and uh, and yes we will miss him but as I said before we have to look forward. Diego do you reflect on last year much the last month have you thought about it much? No <laughs> no I, I didn't think about last year yet we will do it probably in the preseason to to improve things that individually and collectively we think we have to improve.
What do you think the team needs to do to, especially now with the MLS playoffs prioritizing regular season performance a little bit more? What do you What do you guys need to do to not only you know make the playoffs but but compete for the top of the West, compete for things like the Supporter Shield? Uh, I think it's kind of the same. We we have doing it before in the past, being top of the West in 2013 and 17, and and uh, it's, it's being strong at home, being a strong team any, anywhere, but getting points at home. This season is a little, a little bit different about the, the start, so I think being a special season, we have to get a lot of points in the, in the start of the season and then maintain, maintain the level. And uh, I heard in media day, uh, somebody asked you about, you know, if you plan to retire here in Portland or in Argentina, um, and you maybe said that those discussions are ongoing. I was just hoping to ask you about that too. Are you thinking of potentially retiring in Argentina? No, the things that I, that I said is that I'm, I'm not thinking in the retirement. So I, I try to enjoy the present, right, and play many more years. And, and uh, that's what I said. And then what I said too is that I, I'll decide with my family, right, what they want, and because uh, at this point of my career, I don't decide for my own, and and that's it. But first and foremost, I'm thinking in playing. I, I'm feeling physically good, so I wanna I wanna enjoy my career uh, more years. Diego, how much do you enjoy the game still? I really I really love soccer. So I really love what uh, for me is a privilege to be a professional soccer player. And uh, we have a group of guys that are amazing. Uh, the locker room is, is great. And uh, that makes it more enjoyable. So I, I love what we do. I, every training, every game, I find something different, which uh, I really like it. So it's, I still enjoy the, the game.